What up, YouTube? Laura and I made it back to beautiful Bono Beach, South Carolina, and we finally got around to editing. We had a lot of work to do when we got back into town. This is part two of the iguana hunting and peacock bass and exotic fishing on the C100 canal outside of Homestead, Florida, with Iguana Lifestyles and Justin Hart of Hart Outfitters. And hope you all enjoy it, but I'm going to bang this one out and then I'm going to get to editing and turn some more videos for y'all. And there is a great, great, great bit of dialogue in this where Iguana Lifestyles explains why iguanas are so destructive to the ecosystem down in Florida. And it's a great, great talk and I hope y'all watch and I hope y'all learn something. Yeah! Good shot. back. Rinse them off. Iggy coming back. I got it. Yeah, we got back backsplash people there. Oh, no, no, I'm just out. I'm not going to shoot that. One, two, three, four, five. I can take all those ducks out right now. Oh. All. Yep. He He's got him. Got him. <laughs> all right. Fish on. Oh, we, we got, got a fish. Off. Yeah, I think it's at Midas. Be nice oh, my Midas. God, dude. Close. I don't think he's taking the whole thing. Can you get a shiner? Oh, uh, yeah. I need a shiner. We got Mike Caxton to a Midas. We got Laura hooking a shiner on because there's a P back here behind the stern Oscar. up again. Oscar oh, is it an Oscar? Yeah. Oh! Hey, who that is? That thing is bent. Mike, get it, Mike. Get it. Mike, who? <laughs> who? <laughs> who that? Nice! I mean, that's a good sign. That's one. a nice one. That's a nice pretty male too. Gonna, I guess I'm gonna eat two today. That was worth it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just so you know Here. how long you took. Here. I'm gonna keep it for you, okay? Wow, he's right. beautiful. Right. That looks nice. You can lip him. Well watch those teeth. Uh, what lip that? Yeah, you can put put your oh. hand in it. And I'm gonna show him how we caught it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You can do it. He's sleeping. No, he's looking right at him. No, he's not sleeping. Oh. He said. He's moving. You might want to move up to the bow or somebody shoot him. Here, trade with me, Bo. Baby, just pick one and grab it. <laughs> We're not grabbing them yet. They're pretty. And they're the same size as Little Duck. Oh, if you Aww. tapped us up there, I bet between me and you, we could easily catch one of them. Yeah, yeah, I cut them all the time. So you cute. separate the mom and then they don't want to work. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> it's decent. Work him. They ain't giant, but work he's... Jerry. He got oh, a peacock, yeah. male yeah. or female. It looks like another female. Work, work, oh, actually, no. Yeah, female. Yep. Another female. She can come out. Hey! Good job, there you Dave. Go. All right. Yeah. Low profile. Ooh, where's your head, baby? Oh, yeah. This is crazy. This is awesome. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like on um, France, the little thing that you go under the tunnels with the people. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The little romantic fairies. Wow. Whoa, look at all the spider eggs up there. Holy crap. Oh yeah! Lots of spider eggs. Look above you, Laura. Laura, there's a little mangrove hanging on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, for dear life. What about anything? I love it. I love it. I can't wait to get your footage. You see him? Right up by uh, where the chain link comes out. Yep, just creep us along the bank here. All right. You're gonna have to go a little bit further out though, because it is yeah. pretty shallow right up against it. But at least it's not the angry grandma in the channel. <laughs> oh, they oh, they probably jumped off the thing into the water. Yeah. We're coming up to right, the so angry that, grandma that's what right doing. now. We're jumping off the bridge into the water. Wait for us. Go ahead, yeah. jump. Jump out you too. I'll record. Jump, dude. Do it. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah! Nice! Yeah. <laughs> uh, we caught one P down there, and that's it. I caught one of the... Oh yeah, we caught some Midas down the way. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner. And we got a boat full of iguana too. <laughs> oh, really? You gonna fry them up? Chicken yeah. of the tree. Fry them up, grill them up. Yeah. So you gut it? You gotta take out. I don't even gut it. I, I skin it, pop the legs off, pop the tail off, and then. Oh, that's yeah. Because so, there's there's no like tenderloin, and the ribs are you know even on the big ones the ribs are kind of very you know really small. So so the best meat is the hind legs and the tail. The tail's the filet mignon. So if you're from Central America, they want to cook the whole iguana because they believe they'll skin it out and quarter it out. They believe that all the flavor is in the bones. But to me, the flavor is in the seasoning, you know, I don't know. But um, you want to stew it. The longer you stew it, the better. You want it comes real soft. And what right now, it's um, egg season. So a lot of people will tell you, oh, we want the eggs, we want the eggs. They're, they're high in protein. They're very good for you. Like if you're sick today and you eat a iguana soup, eggs, tomorrow you feel like Superman. But that's the story that the men are telling when they want to when they want to get them. The true story is the eggs are an aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, yeah. So once I tell it, then their wife looks at their husband like this. That's so funny. Oh. It's hilarious. I'm like, okay, okay, tell them the truth now. Yeah. yeah it's Did you see a lot of iguanas or not that many? Oh, oh yeah. tons of them. Yeah, we saw most of well, it was later in the day when we made it up here, so most of them retired for the evening. Right. And when it's sunny, they're they're just they're everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely everywhere. So the overcast to see this many is, is pretty surprising. Yeah, I like this weather, man. Yeah, no. yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen as many lately as before. Okay. You're, wel we you're welcome. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. It's all good, man. Get them, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's you know, 90% of people are like, oh, yeah, I, you know, tear them up. And then the other 10% are like, you know, how could you? It's like, look, you know, respectfully, we're doing everything legal. We're minding our business, just mind your business, and we don't have yeah, to, you know. Uh, the, the real reason, besides all this structure that there's a damaging, because they dig 50, 70 feet, it rains, it causes erosion. That's what, you're losing these seawalls. Exactly what it is. Yeah. What else was it, the seawall? So that's the seawall. You go to, there's a bit out on the turnpike. You're like, why are they doing construction on the bridges? Because they're forcing all the iguanas out and trying to fix it from collapsing. So that's erosion, yeah. collapsion, that's what we're paying. And the three main species that are being affected are our native species, four main species that are being affected here in Florida. One is the Miami, Florida blue butterfly. It's an endangered species, now about to become extinct because the green iguana is eating their main food plant called the nectar bean plant. And the spiny tail will actually eat the blue butterflies. Then we're also trying to save the burrowing owl. So an owl like this, it doesn't go in the tree, it burrows. They'll eat the young and the babies force them out and take over the house. So we're losing them. And now they're going for the gopher tortoise eggs and they're eating them as well. And these ducks, unfortunately, you see here, they're not native. You have the Mus Muscovies and the beautiful Egyptians. So when they're here, they're actually fighting and competing for land and food with our, our local ducks, which you barely see are called the model ducks. M-O-T-T-L-E-D, they're brown with like stripes. Those are natives, we never see them because they have too much competition. Iguanas are actually eating their eggs as well. Muscovies taste good. <laughs> yeah, we actually have a... They're ugly as sin, but they taste good. Right. Yeah. Have yeah. you had duck in any like Chinese Number restaurant? Number one, that's what you uh, yeah, it's like Peking. Food duck raised uh, like in the world. Young kids, like little teenagers. Yeah. And they were killing all the iguanas. And they had them piled up. I think they were pretending they were man. crocodile dumb deer. <laughs> <laughs> all the cops, and the cops came to no. Yeah, no. No one knows the law and stuff. So basically, like, if I, we call those like carriers or something, they want to yell at you. So if I know I'm going to go into that area, because I do this for a living, I go to places. If I know that, that she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it, no problem. How are you doing, uh, such and such police? My name is such and such. I'm with such and such. I'll be here from this time to this time. So when someone starts yelling, hey man, just call the cops, please. And I wish I could be there. Oh uh, yeah, is the guy wearing a peach shirt, RME yeah. fatigue pants? Yeah, he's going to be there till five o'clock. Is there any other issues you might have? They're like, what do you mean? There's nothing illegal about it. Nothing at all. Yeah, there's a lot of iguanas in here, man. Right. Yeah. There's, these things are getting... They are rough like six, on the environment. Half. That's bigger than me. Six, four and a half inches. The two, the two plus yeah, years. Six, like four? Six, four like and a half. Head to tail. Bigger than me. I'm six, one, six foot. Head to tail, six, four and a half. 
That's a, that's a prehistoric. They get, yeah. They're getting huge. When, once you see them that big, they're in the um, 15 year range. Yeah. You in the know? two plus years I've been doing it out here, you haven't seen any damage to them. You come out here, you still see the same amount. Now the sizes are starting to go down. They're well, the females sure. will yeah. carry 50 to 75 eggs. Correct. Yeah, you don't see the big, um, the big orange ones. You don't see those. Right. A little more up north by me. There are all. Of them. And it's oh, funny really? too yeah. because they're south too. Yeah, they're everywhere. South. Yeah. Wherever yeah. Right. I live right down in Homestead. Right? Yeah, we, we <laughs> shot a six foot one down in Key West. We must have killed Key Largo. Oh, or Key Largo, yeah. yeah. It's where people Largo. are the protective. They're not protected. Oh, they're gone. Yeah. Right. Where'd you guys put it in by the falls? Yeah. Look at how cute the goslings are, Laura. Pick which one you want. I can't tell There's the daddy gander up on the rock. What a fucking hunter. I walk around my house too much meat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a house like that. I walk around to my house too much meat. Oh, that's the, that's the snook bite. Oh, yeah, we can snatch those goslings. You want one, babe? No, babe. Uh, 53 foot trailers. I've done plenty of boats. Might too. know how to bag up big girls. <laughs> <laughs> You can hide a back book. Oh, shit! Woo! Ah-ah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh! 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 We have major YouTube documentation going on. We are at Boyo Tropical and that man is happy. Oh, Boyo Tropical time. Yay. <laughs> Even at Boyo Tropical, there are muscovies. You can see people have been feeding them. This one's sitting on a nest. Nope, don't get angry. I'll leave you alone. Sorry, you're not on the menu. No need to worry. Oh, now they're angry. Well, that's 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 how Muscovy's threatening people. Okay, okay, you whistling little freak. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. We had a blast making it. And that was the first time these three channels, Iguana Lifestyles, Heart Outfitters, and Swamp Fox Adventures did a collaboration together. And it just was flawless, it was smooth. The only issue we had was sharing um, video. Um, but I think we've got that knocked out. So I am going to, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you, I've got all kinds of kayaks I gotta get ready for tourist season. This is some of them. So I'm going to bang that out, I'm going to wipe them down, hose them off, make sure the seats are there, and then I'm going to do some editing and get back to y'all. The weekend is almost here, I hope y'all get out, I hope y'all do something, especially just get outside, I hope y'all having great weather like us, and I'll keep the videos coming, love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all soon.